In this video, we're going to talk about how to name uh, acids that do not contain oxygen. These are commonly just binary acids. Um, the name of a binary acid consists of two parts or two words, and the first word has three different parts to it. Um, the prefix hydro will go before any element that you write. Um, the root of the nonmetal will follow the prefix hydro, and then we will drop whatever the suffix is, and we will add IC to the ending. Um, and then the second word is obviously just going to be acid always. Um, so these are pretty easy. They're straightforward. Let's look at the first one here. We have HCl. So notice there's no oxygen present there. And so we write hydro because that's our prefix when there's not an oxygen present. The root of the nonmetal element, well, the root of chlorine would be chlor. So C-H-L-O-R and then the ic ending. I C. So we dropped off the I and E and we added I C. Um, so hydrochloric and then acid is how we would end it. Um, so that would be the written formula for HCl or the written name for the formula HCl. Um, the next one um, would be HBr. So H, no oxygen once again, always checking for that. There's no oxygen there. So hydro is our prefix when no oxygen is present. And then bromate is this element, but remember, we just use the root of the word, which is B-R-O-M, and then we drop off the A-T-E, and we add it, hydrobromic acid. And then our last one that we have is H-F. In this one, we don't have oxygen once again, so we know that the prefix hydro will go in front. And then we look for the root of fluorine, so fluor... And then we're going to drop I and E off, and then we're just going to add IC, hydrofluoric acid. So not too bad. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy, as long as you just follow those three little steps to name the first part of the word. Um, and keeping um, hydro, the prefix hydro associated with an acid that does not contain oxygen. But now let's go the other way. Hydroiodic acid. Once again, we're going to need to keep track of the charges here. So hydroiodic, hydro means it doesn't contain, oops doesn't contain oxygen and so hydro H because it's an acid of course and then iodic iodine is what that element is talking about um, so H I now let's of course be sure that we check our charges hydrogen carries a plus charge um, iodine carries a minus charge it's in column 17 on the periodic table all those elements are going to oxidize at a minus one charge um, which means iodine has seven valence electrons it just needs one more to get to that magical number of eight um, and become stable um, and so our compound would make sense HI now let's do hydrosulfuric acid hydrosulfuric acid does not contain uh, oxygen since we're using the prefix hydrogen so H um, then we have sulfur which is S. Hydrogen oxidizes at a plus charge. Sulfur oxidizes at a two minus charge. It has six valence electrons. It wants two more to get to eight. Um, and so it wants to gain these two electrons. And if it does that, it has two more negative charges than positive. So that's why we write the oxidation numbers two minus. So here we can do something um, in chemistry you will use it a lot when you're naming. It's called the crisscross method to get to the actual formula. We're going to pull this subscript of 2 down, and we're going to pull this plus charge down, which just really is a 1, right? Um, and so we're, of course, going to get rid of the charges, but we're going to keep up with the numbers. And so hydrogen would have two atoms to neutralize S's 2 minus charge. Um, if we have two atoms of hydrogen, that means we now have two plus charges. Um, and so sulfur, since it carried a 2 minus charge, that's 2 plus and 2 minus, which would have a net charge of 0. So this is our neutral formula for hydrosulfuric acid. Now let's do one last one. And this one's tricky. When you look at it, you see cyanic. Um, and no, we're not referring to the color cyan. We're referring to the polyatomic ion, cyanide. So cyanide um, is a polyatomic ion. It's CN minus would be its formula. And so notice here that there is no oxygen in that polyatomic ion. So it would fall up underneath um, naming an acid uh, without oxygen since there's no oxygen present. It's one of those rare exceptions. So hydrogen, H, and then we know no oxygen is present, so we're going to write the polyatomic ion. 
Notice that the oxidation state on cyanide is a, a single minus charge and hydrogen carries a plus charge. So one plus and one minus would be a neutral compound and so we would write our formula as HCN, hydrocyanic acid. So once again, not too difficult here. These are pretty easy um, as long as you're able to follow those steps that we outlined earlier in the video. Um, be sure that you keep up with the charges when you're working backwards and you're given a written name for an acid and you need to get the formula.